the simplest way I know to uninstall and install the uh, injection pump on a 4AT1. First thing I would do is remove the timing inspection boat, which is in the side of the pump. You remove it. And then you come around. I'm out bouncing. You'll find a mark on the closest groove here to the timing marks on the front cover. You will turn the crankshaft until the mark comes around. You will stop it at 8 degrees, which is the red mark. Once you stop it here at 8 degrees, come around, look through your inspection cover, you will have a short mark, which is the 8 degree mark, it should line up with the homolic bouncer on 8 degrees. Once you get it, your 8 degree mark line, lined up. With the high mark bouncer on eight degrees and the short mark eight degree marks lined up then you want to check it on 13. 13 is you just turn it a little bit further down you go past 10 12 and 13 is one degree past 12. And your long mark should be lined up, which is your 13 degree mark. To uninstall the injection pump, first thing to do is move your fuel filter housing, your lines, your ejector lines, your feed line, return line, and the oil return After line. After you get your lines, your fuel filter housing, and all off, the front bracket here on the front of the pump it's got a, a nut and a boat you uninstall the, that front bracket at the front of the pump the next step would be to get to uh, the nut down here behind the pump you have to uninstall this black piece and the two wires to get access to this boat. The next step is uh, getting the nut loose back here on the back side of the pump. You want to use a 14 and a 9 16 wrench. Get it turning. You may have to keep changing up wrenches. Once you get it loose and so far, you can reach and turn it with your hand and uninstall it. The nut on the back side of the pump. The next step is to uninstall the heater hose pipe. The air conditioner tensioner. step would be to get the nut off the bottom back side of the pump. The easiest way is a 14 socket, a swivel, and an extension. The next step is to get the two bottom as a nut and a 14 at the bottom of the pump. Use a 14 socket, swivel, and extension.
and get the boat on this side. The next step is the two set that you got a 17 boat and nut. You may have to hold the back side of this one. Take the nut loose, slide your boat back. Take your 17 and once take you get them out, out, your pump's ready to slide forward. And all. Next step to remove the pump, now you grab it up front, shake it, pull it to the front, grab it here at the back. Now this dog. Pump's already off the engine, and you're getting ready to install a, a new injection pump to determine uh, if it's, to get it on top dead center and back to eight. You're going to have to pull the valve covers. To get the timing mark back on top this center, if your injection pump's already off, turn your hydraulic bouncer, and you already got your valve cover off. Turn your hydraulic bouncer to your mark on your hydraulic bouncer is at the top mark, which is at top this center. Once you determine that, come up to your cam and make sure you mark on your cams even with the surface of the head. Once you determine you on top dead center by getting in the high mount some mark on zero and your cam mark flush with the surface of the head. That'll be top dead zero. Then what you want to do is roll it on around to your eight degree mark. Once you determine you on eight degrees at your hot mark balsam, you want to turn this groove along here where you can get a screwdriver in here to move it. Put your 13 degree mark right. I usually grab it right here and right in here. Get it started on your boat. Get your screwdriver. Stick it right in this slot. Your 13 degree mark should be lined up. And once you get it started and slide it in, then this gear will turn to eight degree mark, short mark. Once you get it right, start your boat. Just snug them up good. Right before you get ready to tighten all of them, make sure your eight short mark, the eight degree marks lined up. Your high mark bounces on eight degrees. And when it's lined up perfectly, then you can tighten all your boats. You get your injection pump started with the short line lined up, which is the eight degree mark. And your eight degree marks lined up here. Install your brace back on the front and put your boats back in it and your lines as you disassembled it. When the motor is still in the truck, the marks and on the injection pump is kind of difficult to see. You have to take a mirror and hold it down there and, and shine a flashlight through the plug hole, the timing plug hole, to see the marks. Once you get your pump installed or you run out of fuel, Here's how you prime your fuel pump. First you would uh, loosen your outlet banjo boat on your filter housing. Loosen your primer pump by 
turning it counterclockwise. It'll come up. Pump it till you got nothing but fuel coming out. No air. You don't you don't see no air. Once you have just fuel, you tighten it back. Snug it up good. Then you'll see a a bleeder boat down here on your pump. It's a 13 wrench, a socket. Loosen it, pump your bubble till you see just pure fuel coming out and no air. Once you got this pure fuel, snug it back. And then push your primer down and turn it clockwise till it tightens back down. And that's, that's bled all the air out your pump. And once you spin it over, it should start. 